Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies and today I'll be showing you how to create this neon text effect using GIMP. I'll be using GIMP version 2.10.32, which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. <laughs> Before I get into that guys, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 masterclass from beginner to pro photo editing on Udemy. You can enroll in my new WordPress 6.0 for non-coders course also on Udemy. And you can get access to additional content by becoming a DMD premium member and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. I'll be using this free stock photo towards the end of this tutorial from Pexels. You can come over here to where it says free download. I went with the large download, then click download selected size. All right, so let's dive right in. I'm gonna start off here by creating a new document, which of course I can do by hitting Control N on the keyboard. And I'll go with 1920 by 1080 and just click OK. So by default, it'll fill this in with our background color, which for me is white. I'm going to click and drag the color black onto my background and that gives us a nice black background. Next, I'll grab the text tool by hitting the T key on the keyboard or you can just click the icon over here in the toolbox. And down here for the font, I'm gonna set this to Bourbon Grotesque. Why they named it that, I don't know. This is a free font. I do have an entire tutorial dedicated to downloading and installing free fonts for GIMP. And I'll also try to get the link for this free font for you guys to download. And I know the size of this font ahead of time, I want to be somewhere around 425. It might be 420, but that's fine right there. And I'm also going to just flip my colors here so that white is the foreground color. That will also change the color of my text right here. So now I'm gonna turn on the caps lock key and I'm going to click on my composition and now I'll type GIMP. So of course you can adjust the font size from here if you want. Otherwise, if you're happy with it, what we need to do is discard the text information so that we can center everything up properly. There's more space on this side than on this side, so it won't center everything up properly otherwise. So let's go to layer, crop to content, and that will crop the layer size down. Now I'll hit the Q key on the keyboard to grab the alignment tool, click on this layer. You'll see these little squares here in the corner. Come over here to relative to image and we'll just center align that. So I clicked both align center of target and align middle of target. Once we're centered up, the next thing I wanna do is I want to apply a stroke to this text. That's going to be essentially the base of our neon text effect. So what I'll do is I'm going to first come over here and click to create a new layer and I'll name this stroke. Let's turn off the caps lock key there. Fill this with transparency and click okay. Next, what I'll do is I'll alt click on the GIMP text layer. So that's going to create an outline here, a selection outline around the text. If that didn't work, just click on the text layer and go to layer, transparency, alpha two selection, and then just make sure you click back on the stroke layer. And next we're gonna come over here to the paths tab and your dialogues might be in slightly different locations, but you should have your paths tab open somewhere in GIMP. So next what we'll do is come over here and click this icon that says selection to path. That's just going to convert this selection area to a path. So now you'll see we have a path there and I can hit control shift A to deselect that. I can also simply go to select none. So now if I come over here to the paths tab, I can unhide the path you'll see a red line here indicating where our path is. And now I actually want to duplicate this. I'm gonna need two versions of this path. So on the selection, you can rename this GIMP path if you want. But on this path we created, come over here and hit the duplicate icon. So now we have two versions of this. I'm gonna hide the first version. And on the second version, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of take away some spaces inside the path so that it looks like neon. You'll see it in action once we start adding color to this. But to do that, what I'll do is come over here and grab the paths tool. So that's gonna be the B key for the shortcut key. And now I'm going to click on this path with my paths tool and you'll see all the nodes pop up once we do that. So I'll hold control, zoom in. And what I can do is if I hold the control key, I can click and create new nodes along the path. 
And then if I hold control in shift and I click the line in between these two nodes, I can now erase that line. So it's going to delete it when I click on it. So now there's no longer a line in between there. And I'll just do that one more time. Maybe we'll come over here. So there's two nodes already right here. If I hold control and shift, click that line, it's going to get rid of that line between the nodes. And what I'll do is just move over and repeat for all the letters. And so again, hold control, click to create a node, go down a little bit, click to create another node, hold the shift key. So now we're holding control and shift and click in between those nodes and the line is gone. So let's repeat right here, control click, control click, and let's hit control Z because I think that was a little too spread out there. Control click, control shift click, now it's gone. Let's come over here and I just did both of these, so control shift click on these. And if you have a floating node like this, just keep holding control shift and then click. And maybe I'll do another one up here. So control click, and then we're going to control shift click, get rid of that. So only one more time and then we're good to go. Control click, control click, one more letter I should say, control shift click. And I'll do one more, I didn't really do one over here the first time, but I'll try it this time. So control click, control click, control shift click, now that's gone. So once I've done all that, I'm going to come over here and hide the original text layer. So just click the show hide icon next to that. So on this stroke layer still, and on this GIMP path copy we created with the little holes in it. Next what I'll do is come over here and set my foreground color. I'm going to go with a nice neon green and click OK. And now I'll come over here to the paths tab. Still on this path, I'm going to come over and click this icon here, Paint Along Path. And so now what I'll do, I'll set this to Stroke Line, Solid Color. The line width, we could probably go with something like 15. The line style, just make sure this is a normal line, so have it set to Line. And that should be good to go. We also need to make sure the cap style is set to Rounded. That just means that wherever we have these gaps, it'll be rounded off. That way it looks like a neon tube. And then for join style, you're going to also want to make sure this is fairly rounded. So set that also to round. And then once you're ready, click stroke. And there you can see the first part of our neon tube. So that already looks really cool. Next thing I'll do is come over here to the layers panel and once again, create a new layer. And I'm going to name this stroke two and click OK. So once again, in my Paths tab, we're going to click that same icon, Paint Along the Path. This time we're going to change this so it's a little thinner, a lot thinner. We'll change it to 3. And also I can come over here and just make sure I reset my colors and then swap these so that white is my foreground color. And I'll come over here back to Stroke Path and we're going to set that to Stroke. We're going to click Stroke. And now if I hide this path that we created here and I grab a different tool like the move tool here from the toolbox, you'll see this already looks really cool and it looks like a pretty realistic neon sign. All right, so now that we have the basic structure of our text, we're going to start adding those extra elements to really bring this alive. So let's start off by adding some of that outer glow here. So what I'll do is come over here to the stroke layer and I'm going to duplicate that layer. Let's bring that copy down below that first original layer. So our stroke copy layer is right here. Let's now go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And you can basically crank this up as far as you want. I'm going to crank it up until it just looks like a cool neon sign. Probably don't want to overdo it. You want some of the original shape of the letters inside the middle here. So once you're ready, just click OK. And some of you may just want to stop here. That's totally fine. But what I'll do is bring in the photo of the brick wall because I think that really brings this together. So let's open up our file explorer here. And I'm just going to drag and drop this brick wall photo into my composition. So I'll release my mouse. I'll convert it to GIMP's native sRGB color space. 
And I'll click and drag this layer so that it is just above the background layer. And then what I'll do is I'll turn the opacity of this way down. So whenever you're working with neon, it's gonna make everything else in the room dark. It's usually a dark room when you're having a neon sign in the room anyway. So that's what we're going for here. We're trying to make this look like it's in a dark room. Then what I'll do is create a new layer and you can just name this neon light and hit the enter key. So what I'll do is come over here to the toolbox and grab my paintbrush tool. And I'm gonna make this a pretty large paintbrush. And I'm also going to turn the hardness way down on this paintbrush. And you also might wanna turn the force down a little bit. So then what I'll do is paint with this. Let me hit control Z. You wanna make sure you're using the same color there. So just click on the foreground color swatch and click on this green and click OK. So now once again, we're going to just paint with this green color. And obviously that doesn't look great. So what we have to do once we're finished painting is come over here to this layer and we're going to change the layer mode. So let's click on that layer mode and come over here to overlay. And we can continue painting on this. I think there's some room for there to be a bit more green. And once we've finished with that, I'm going to duplicate that layer, drag it below the original, and then I'm going to click on the layer mode and just find HSV hue. And then we're just going to turn that down a little bit there. And the last step here, just to bring all this together, is I'm going to add a vignette to the composition. So to do that, I'll create a new layer and name this vignette, hit the enter key, shift click on this up arrow to bring it to the top of the layer stacking order. And then I can use the forward slash key and type vignette. So there is the vignette filter. Just double click on that to add it to our composition. And I'm just going to squeeze the vignette in using this outer circle. And I'm going to make sure it doesn't overlap with my text too much by bringing this inner circle outwards. And then just sort of make sure it fades nicely by dragging this inner line here, like so. And when you're ready, click OK. And there you have a vignette. And more importantly, you have a really awesome neon text effect. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out the links to any of my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.